Hello, Terry here, and we are back with Bohemian Symphony Book 1. So, yeah. Uh, Act 3, everybody. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. So, it turns out, like, I guess, that our main character, Zalamora, is actually... a murderer. <laughs> but that is fine, isn't it? Either way, yeah. Let's continue playing the game, shall we? Even as children, Yulia Ken and I were inseparable. We often sneak out during the night to go on an adventure. That was the kind of thing kids our age could do without much fear at the time. How about now? Ah! Oh, oh, small Yulia! This is it. They call this room Calf House Room. Why the fuck do they call that? <laughs> who, who decided to call that that? I hear really creepy things happen to the students who enter this room at night. Uh-huh. We were exploring the local middle school. There was this spooky room Yulia wanted us to check out and... Yeah? Okay, I'll go in first. Be careful, Zal. Zal can already see ghosts, so he'll be fine if he... even if the room is haunted. Why? <laughs> what kind of logic is that, Yulia? If something happens to us while we're out, the school only opens on Monday and today's, and today's Saturday. What if there's no food? We can do like the cockroaches do and eat each other if it comes to it. What the fuck, son? <laughs> My funny joke didn't come kind of nurse at all. Uh, yeah. I mean, man, what the hell is wrong with you? There, there, there's a lot of eatable things here other than other people. We could eat the wood or the floor. <laughs> I think that's why we never ended up entering the room. I know we didn't go in, so why are we talking about that room? But why? Okay. Artry, honestly, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Impressive. So, hello. I woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Staring at nothing in particular, I started remembering things. I remembered my childhood. Ah. Oh. I've been able to see ghosts since I was small. I haven't seen one in a while, but back home they were everywhere. You and Kana were the only ones who knew, the only ones I trusted enough to reveal such an unbelievable secret to. Unbelievable. Dad and Mum, though, they had no idea. Dad, I wonder if he's feeling better. Maybe I should visit him, visit him in the hospital. I, I miss him. You should. <laughs> you totally should. Uh, what time is it? I went downstairs to get some water. As I went to open the fridge, I did a double take. Mum was on the couch watching TV. Ah, okay. She noticed me and gasped. Zelly, do you know what time it is? Same goes for you, Mom. W why are you up so late? I'm just on I'm just taking a, dr a drink. Well, I can't sleep either. Mom, I want to sit next to her. Is it that? It's okay, don't worry about me. We can go visit him after school tomorrow, I mean. We could go to the hospital together. Wait, what happened to Albert? Like, did you just kill himself and and then we do nothing? No police or anything? I mean, to be fair, after the first part, first arc, there's nothing happening to us, so yeah. Zelly, you promised your friends you go to the movies with them tomorrow. Your dad wouldn't want you to give up on that. You were really scared you wouldn't make friends when you move here, remember? Go enjoy yourself. But dad? Uh, yes, dad. <laughs> he will be there, Zalmora. Please. But I haven't seen dad at all. <laughs> Mom got up and nodded weakly at me. We should go back to bed. Okay. Mom. I don't think she's okay at all. She doesn't want to leave the house most days. Not even to go shopping for food. Just what is going on with that that she won't tell me? Perhaps your dad moved to Illinois? Not in coma, but in Illinois?
When morning came, I went to school. I wasn't able to sleep. I could barely stay awake through classes. Okay, that's bad. Zal? Yes, Nathan? What is it, you asshole? Nathan showed up at our usual spot. Hi. Hi? With Riley following after him, I've been inviting her to hang out with us at our secret spot lately. Okay. She seemed like she was lonely, so I got her to come. What? You look like you were up for four days straight. Because I am. Thanks. <laughs> He's been looking like that for weeks. It's called being goth. You two will not understand, okay? Nathan said, opening his bag to refill two lunch boxes. Oh, gimme, give gimme. Give Eat. Not hungry. Oh, some more, come on. Riley, say something. He's gonna start to death if we don't feed him. <laughs> uh huh. Riley tapped me on the shoulder. I look at her. If you don't eat the lunch Nathan made for you, then I will. Sure. You can have it. Oh, yeah, you don't mind if I eat. Oh, the Salmon Row Rice Balls. It's calling your name. Or if she ate the piece of beef with black bean sauce that I warm up for you over at the teacher's lung. What? How do you get access to warm up food at the teacher's lung? Okay, fine. Give me lunchbox. <laughs> the black bean sauce always work. And the Salmon Row. Yeah. Nathan and Raleigh grin at each other once I opened the lunchbox and took a bit of ba beef, not bife. <laughs> then they begin to eat their own lunches. Uh-huh. The food was delicious. Ah, oh, You like it? After school, we were planning on going to the movies. But we have to travel a long way to get there, and I wasn't feeling in the mood for popcorn either, so no movies? Huh? Guys? I don't think I'll make it, I'm not feeling too good. That's what you said last time. I'm not feeling well. Staying at home lookup won't make it any better. I'm tired, okay. So, uh, just don't be tired. Then go back to the doctor and talk about how, how the sleeping pills haven't been working for you. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Riley looked back and forth between me and Nathan. Guys, thanks for inviting me to hang out those past weeks, but I think I'm um, getting in the way. <laughs> what? No, we invited you, it's fine. No, it's our... What is it? Do I have to spell it out? I feel like a third wheel. <laughs> No, don't worry about that. You can you can be the fourth wheel once we invited someone else. Yeah. Ah. With that bombshell drop on us, Riley grin and walk away. Nathan and I look at each other. Yeah, we can um, leave the movie for another day. I cleared my throat and look away. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Alright then. Spring in Simazawa sure is warm, huh? We have already done this. It's fine. I'm sorry too. A sun fell over us as we continue to walk. And back home. See you later. Yeah. Bye. If I think too much about it, it will worry me. I can worry about one more thing right now, or else I go insane, but you are already insane. <laughs> are we dating? Are we not? Nope, not gonna think about it. My head hurts enough already. Bye, Zal. I have to go see how mom is doing. Get a hold of yourself, Zalmora. Once I get home, I look around the living room, searching for mom. But she wasn't there. Okay. She must be asleep. I walk over to the dining table and notice a piece of paper on top of one of the plates. Uh-huh. It seems like mom forget it there. I pick it up to read it. And no, I'm pretty sure that's a note from your mom. 
That's uh that's room number at a hospital. Oh. Okay. So we are finally going to see that. <laughs> Impressive. I arrive at the hospital and walk down the hallway towards that room. Unlike the room I was in was in when I sat uh, at the hospital, his was terribly quiet. Hey, Zal. Oh, you awake? That saw me and smiled. He was laying on a bed, hooked to a bunch of machines. I sat on a chair by his bedside and leaned over to look at him in the eye. How are you? Dad looked at me as if studying me. I'm fine. You don't look fine. Neither do you, then. You look like you had to grow up too fast. I'm sorry. Dad, it's just a few days. <laughs> Or a few weeks. You're so much like your mother, especially when you smile. God, I love that smile. Where's the mother? That squeezed my arm. His hand was shaking. It felt nothing like the strong hand that taught me how to ride a bike when I was a child. This isn't the dad I knew. It's not like him to be like this. Well, he's sick. Has he been like this? Sorry, all this, all this time? What? Like all this? All the... Okay. Is this why mom didn't want me to see him? But isn't he in a coma for a while? Zalmora, I'm going to miss you. What do you mean? You, you just wake. What? Dad, what are you saying? What do you mean? What do I mean? I'm going to die, Zalmora. I'm sorry. What the fuck? What? No! Zal, listen to me. I've been getting sick for a while. I didn't want to worry you. Dying? No, you're not dying. This can be real. That's strong. He's a detective. He's not a frail and, and pale and weak. This isn't him. It can be true. Are you an impostor, Dad? Yes, I am. It's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it is what it is. I just want you to be okay. I felt a flood of emotions overcome me. A million things ran through my mind. Is this... Related to the divorce, is it? Why? Why is this happening? That didn't reply to my questions. Instead, he squeezed my arm again. Are you having a heart attack because of the divorce? I know. You will always be my angel. Oh, that. Isn't there a treatment? Anything we can do? There has to be. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't you dare pull a- uh, this is a prank on me, okay? No. Son. Goodbye, I love you. You're just fucking awake, don't you uh, immediately die? Please, take care of your mother. Where's mom? Dad closed his eyes. What? I stood up slowly. Sorry, but <laughs> why? As I left the hospital, I ran into Yulia. Why the fuck are you here? Why are you still roaming around here? You, your home is like so far away. I told her about that. I'm sorry. I know how much you love your father. A long, terrible time from now, you'll see him again. Yeah. Hey, Zal. What? Can I perform the same ritual over again? What ritual? Excuse me? What? Suddenly, Yulia changed the subject. It came out of nowhere. When you go to sleep, can I perform the same ritual over again? Do you think it will work? I frowned. What? Ritual? Yulia explained what the ritual entailed. She wanted me to go into a deep... Dead sleep, sorry. <laughs> Deep sleep and perform the ritual over me. She entered my dream and per performed the ritual. What ritual? You've done this before? Yes. Many times. <laughs> I didn't know. I couldn't believe it. On me? Yes. <sighs> Why? I just told her my dad is dying. This isn't the time for jokes. No. No, I'm tired of rituals and haunting and ghosts. Please, Zal. Just this once, I want to do something the book suggests. 
Once again, Yula begged me to let her do the ritual. No, I refuse. Uh, is there any benefit? Like, will this bring my uh, dad back? Whatever book she got the idea out of. I don't, I don't want to hear any more of it. I understand. Thank you for talking with me, Zal. Scythe. With that insanity over with, I was ready to go home. Until? Nope, there's no until. I arrive home. Mom was standing in the middle of the living room, holding on to her necklace. She noticed me and frowned. Zelly, I've been waiting for you. Aren't you feeling well? You look pale. I wanted to protect her. Wait, so wait, there's a note there? I thought you left, left it there. Did you really forget and just left the note there instead of on purpose? But I don't know if I can protect her from this. And you still don't know that that, that died? Mom, that is dying, isn't he? Her face fell. Oh wait, is he lying? Are they lying about your dad being in coma so you don't know that he's dying? Okay then. He he told me that he loved your smile. Mom looked down and forced a smile. I... I'm sorry. She came to my side and kissed my forehead. Cradling my face, she whispered reassurance that she would be fine and that wasn't in much pain. But I can make that feel more pain. <laughs> sorry. Sweetie, it's going to be fine. Go to sleep and rest up. Over and over as if she was... Trying to convince herself too. Mom, it's okay. Go rest, Zally. Trust your old mom here, okay? But goodbye, Zally. Mom left, heading to her room. She smiled reassuringly. I headed to my room. I sat on my bed and my phone immediately began to buzz. Ah! Relay you. Who? Z? Z? Why? What? <laughs> uh, the Riley, Riley back then. I sent you the stuff you were looking for. On AC? What? Thanks. AC? Air conditioner? Everything okay? No! Can't talk right now. Thanks for the gifts. Okay then, I need to distract myself. If I think about this all for too long, I'll drive myself insane. Kana, Dad, Mom, Scythe. I turn on my switch and open a minute. <laughs> you have Animal Crossing? Wow. As I turn on the game, a letter fell from the sky into my character's hand. I open it. Hey Zal, if you're reading this and I've moved on to bigger and better things, I'm leaving this letter for you in case you want to come by my new shrine. God? What the hell? <laughs> then my phone began to vibrate again. I ignored it. I ignored it, I had a bad feeling. Something was wrong, somewhere in this house, something... Everything is always wrong. I headed off to mom's room. I open the door and scream. No, 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 don't do doki doki literal bullshit to me. <laughs> oh, they did, aren't they? Mom was hanging from the ceiling. They fucking did! <laughs> Her dead eyes stared at me. Mom! Mom, you. I jump up, up on the bed and look down at her. What the fuck is wrong with you, mom? Why the fuck are you leaving me here? You said... It's all going to be okay. You fucking lied to me, you bitch. <laughs> the rubber around her neck was tight. Too tight for me to try and get her out of. And it was too late. She was gone. Mom was gone. Dad? Okay, uh, alright then, time to go back to the hospital and tell that to awake because mom is dead. Wow, it's raining. Impressive. Zal, sh shut the fuck up. 
You usually done something stupid. I'm so sorry. Okay. So now we are an orphan. Yeah, or not yet? Okay. I woke to the sun shining through my window. It's been weeks. It is silent. Everything is silent. There's been a murder in the village again. United Ulrich was found dead this morning. Riley's sister. Why? <laughs> she must be so scared. But I didn't want to get up. I couldn't even fathom leaving this room. Who did it? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Hello, Nathan. Zal. Lunch. You need to eat. Yola came by and left you some stuff, and the others from your class wrote your letter. It is silent. I can hear anything. Nathan words sound far away. Nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. Zal, look at me. Nathan's here. He cooks and cleans and reminds me to take my medicines before trying to sleep. He's helping me. But Riley has nothing. She has nothing. I mean, her sister died. I need to see Riley. What? Why? Her sister died. She's all alone. Oh, I thought you mean that Riley didn't care about you. Oh, okay. So you mean Riley lost family. I got up from the bed and grabbed my hoodie. Wait, you, you're going outside? Yeah, for the first time. She's all alone. She's lost everyone she ever loved, and now she's alone. She's like us, Nathan. Nathan seemed to understand what I was trying con to convey. He walked to my side and helped me put my hoodie on. Do you need me to go too? No, wait here. I'll be back soon. Okay. Be careful, Zal. Sure. Goodbye, OCD boy. So, yeah. Uh-huh. I need to talk. Are you home? Are you home? I'm at a park. The one near school. On my way. Oh, kitten. I arrived at the park and found Riley sitting on a bench, crying. Uh-huh. Riley, I'm so sorry. Riley lifted her head up and wiped her eyes. Thanks for your concern, Zal, but I really should be alone right now. She sighed. I took a moment to sit down next to her. Riley, I lost my mother too, and my dad is dying. I know how you feel. I keep thinking about my mom, and all I could do is think about how she was taken from me too soon, in the same way your sister was. Riley nodded silently. Yeah, both your sister died, isn't it? I don't know how I can go on. I really don't. Neither do I, Z. Oh, Z is for Zalmora. God fucking damn it. We sat in silence for a moment. No one else understands. All my sisters are dead. They are all gone. They were my only family. Our classmates, the teacher, everyone. They don't get what it's like. Yeah. We sat there for a long, long time. Alright. Zal, welcome home. Huh? Hello. <laughs> Once I arrived home with Riley in tow, Nathan looked back and forth between us. He raised an eyebrow at me. Why? She's staying with us. Yep, we are all family now, the three of us. Ah. Riley, I'm very sorry about your loss. Thanks. 
she needs to eat. I'll go set up the table. Okay. Setting up the... Oh, nice. I set up the dining table with candles and pretty plates and fancy cups. I don't know why. Mom never did that. And that really could eat at home for me to know if he enjoyed this kind of thing. Thank you for the meal, it looks delicious. Zal, you should follow her example. You haven't eaten properly in a while. Yes. Also, why do people not using the fancy stuff? Just use it! What's the purpose if you just keep it inside for... <laughs> waiting for someone, like, once uh, in a 10 year to come by and so you can use it? <laughs> This is such a feast, not eating it will make it all go to waste. Riley, Unity was the one who cooked for me most days. All she could make was bean sprout soup, it was disgusting. <laughs> but Miranda and I ate it anyway because she made it all for us, every single day. Why don't all of you just learn to cook? Riley said, sadly munching on some fried tofu. This is delicious, don't let it go to the trash. Okay. <sighs> Wait, fried tofu. I offered Riley to stay the night, but she refused. She went home after sunset. I got under the covers and waited for sleep to come. I'll be back tomorrow morning, try and sleep Zal. Nathan began to leave. Wait. Zal. I grabbed his sleeve and pulled him back to my side. Don't go. I don't want to be alone. Not in this room. Not in this house. Your mother died here. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Not in the place mom died drowning in sorrow. Yep. It's okay. Yep, I'll end the video right here. So I guess that's all for Bohemian Symphony Book 1. See you later in the next episode. Bye bye.